two questions that I get asked pretty often about making syrup that I am really happy to say no to. We're going to go over one of them today. Folks will often ask, if they don't have a maple tree, there's no reason for them to even try to tap, right? No, couldn't be farther from the truth. There are actually, how do I want to say this? of year I love to take a walk in the sugar bush in fact I do it pretty much daily while I'm out this time of year I like to check the lines make sure there's no trees on them especially if we've had a windy storm and just make sure that the lines are all looking good so we're ready for syrup season believe it or not there are 30 sources that you can tap into to make amazing syrup in general, you can remember that these trees that make delicious syrup are usually in one of three families, but there's some extra ones too. <sighs> okay, so I'm a person who loves mnemonic devices. I've never ever been somebody who is good at memorizing, but if you give me a mnemonic device, I can roll with it and I will remember it forever. So this is the way that I remember what tree families are good for tapping. I remember that a BMW can make you sick if you're chewing gum. I'll explain. Okay, so first of all, let's start with BMW. Birch, maple, and walnut. Those are the three primary families that have wonderful tappable trees. Then the sick if you're not chewing gum part, that reminds me of sycamore trees and sweet gum trees. A lot of people don't know the birch trees are tappable trees and they make good syrup. Problem is, they're not going to be your first choice to tap if you do have maple trees available. Because birch trees, they require a whole lot more sap to get a good bottle of syrup. You see, the reason people love maple trees is they are the holy grail, the best ones to tap because of their sugar content. The sap in a maple tree has a much higher sugar content than the sap in a birch tree. On top of that, the birch sap, I describe it as being a little more bitter. People get a little offended at me sometimes who actually love their birch syrup, but I think it tastes like molasses and I'm really not a big fan, but I love it for baking um, or for marinating meats. But if I'm putting it on my pancakes or putting it in a cup of tea, I'm always gonna go for the maple. So the birch doesn't taste as sweet and it requires a whole lot more sap. You need to gather about 110 gallons of birch sap to make one gallon of birch syrup. So how does that compare to a maple tree? A maple tree, you only need 40 gallons of sap to get one gallon of syrup. So it's much higher sugar content. You have to spend a lot less time and energy and money boiling down your maple sap than your birch sap. Then there's walnut. Walnut syrup has a neat, nutty flavor. I actually am a fan of walnut syrup. People also like to mix their walnut and their maple. If they have a sugar grove that has both, they mix really well together. A walnut tree actually has about the same sugar content as a maple. The problem is that a walnut tree gives you a lot less sap per day than a good maple tree. So you're gonna to have to spend a lot more time collecting and you're not gonna get as much sap from the walnut grove as you would from a maple grove. But it makes good syrup and it is high in sugar content. And then a sycamore tree. It does not have nearly as much, as much sugar per gallon as a maple tree. You're gonna to have to probably collect about 100 gallons of sycamore sap to make one gallon of sycamore syrup but it has delicious butterscotch undertones. At least I'm told, I've never tasted it, but I hear it's delicious and it's worth the effort. Now, the last one that I mentioned is a sweet gum. That one there's very little research on. And actually I've only spoken to two different people who have tried to tap a sweet gum, 
but I have read in different sources that sweet gums make syrup. So if that's something you have done or know about it, please let me know. So there you have it, Michelle's little mnemonic device that will help you remember what trees you can tap. Remember, if you're driving a BMW, you'll be sick if you're not chewing gum. Birch, maple, walnut, sycamore, and sweet gum. Now, there are a whole lot of varieties in the birch, maple, and walnut family. So check out the link that I will leave in the show notes. It will describe every option of those 30 different possible tappable sources. I'm getting cold and I am heading back in. So I hope you found that useful. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and say hi. Check out the show notes for lots more information. And if you would like to support our little sugar bush and our family farm and my efforts to get the word out about how amazingly good all natural sugar is, then please subscribe to this channel, hit the bell, and I will let you know when new content comes up. And if you would like to check out the Solely Rested swag, I happen to be wearing my current favorite. Check that out in the comments, or the show notes. I always say comments, show notes.